Hello there, YouTube. I am going to start reading Demon Thief to you guys. First chapter, first page. It's called Into the Light. People think I'm crazy because I see lights. I've seen them all my life. Strange, multiple colored patches of light swirl, swirl through the air. The patches are different size, some some as small as a coin, others as big as a cereal box. All sorts of shapes, octagons, triangle, decagons, some have 30 or 40 sides. I don't know the name for a 40-sided shape. Blah. Duocagon? No circles. No circles. All all of the patches of patches have at least two straight edges. There are few there are few with curves or semicircle. Not many. Anyways, not many. Every color imaginable. Some are shining brightly, others glow dully. Occasionally a few a few of the lights pulse, but normally they're just hanging there, glowing. When I was younger, I didn't know the lights were strange. I thought everybody saw them. I described them to my mom and dad, but they thought I was playing a game, seeking attention. It was only when I started school when started school and my and spoke about the lights in my class it that it became an an issue. My teacher Miss don't care what her name is. It's right there if you want to see the name. If you can pronounce it then go ahead. Saw that I wasn't making up the story. The light re that I really that I really believe in the lights. Ugh. Miss whatever her name is again called mom and suggested they take me to somebody better qualified to understand what the lights signify. But mom never had much time for a psycho psychiatrist. She thinks my brain can't take care of it itself. She asks me to stop mentioning the lights at school, but otherwise, she not she wasn't concerned. I stop I stop talking about the lights, but the but the damage has already been done. Word spread among the children. Colonel Fleck is weird. He's not like us. Stay away from him. I never made any friends after that. My name is Corn Cornelius. But but I couldn't say that when I was younger. The closest I came, I the closest I would get was Colonel. My mom and dad thought that thought that was cute and started using it instead of my real name. It stuck, and now that everyone calls now that's what everyone calls me. I think some parents shouldn't be allowed. To name their kids, there, there should be a community for forbidden names, which, which will cause problems later. I mean, even without the lights, what chance that, what chance did I have of fitting in with the name, with any normal crowd, with a name like Colonel? Or Cornelius Black. We live, we live in a city, 
Mom's and university. Mom's a university you like to. Dad, dad's an artist who also does some free le free lacing and free lace teaching. He's actually he actually spends more time teaching than drawing, but whenever someone asks what asks, he says he's an artist. They live on the third floor of an old warehouse which has been converted into an apartment. The large large rooms and very high ceilings. I sometimes feel like a munchkin or jack in or jack in the giant castle. Dad's very good with his hands. He makes brilliant models, aeropl airplanes, and hangs brilliant, brilliant model, model airplanes and hangs them from the wind beams of my bedroom ceiling. When they start to clutter up the space, up when they start cluttering the place up, or if we just, or if we just get too eager eager or one lazy afternoon the pair of us make bombs out of apples containers whatever we can find that's hard around and round and launch them at the airplane at the planes so like the book is very difficult to read it's not like no child's book either. No, I'm only on page nine. I've read two pages so far. I wish I had something better, but it actually ends at 244. No, 274. My mistake. Okay, continue reading. I must say, because I keep on getting carried away. I'm reading this from my own site, so you gotta. Thing. I'm not the fastest reader and I'm not the slowest reader, so I'm just in between. I'm my own kind of speak out loud type of reader. I try to make it seem interesting, but this is only the beginning. It hasn't reached the middle yet. <laughs> okay. So where was I? Launch them at the planes. We fire away until we're until we run out of ammo or all the planes are destroyed. Then dad sets to work on new models and we do it all over again. At at the moment the ceil the ceiling's about a third full. I like it here. Our apartment is great. We live close we live close to a to lots of shops and cool art adventure adventure playgrounds museums cinemas galler cinema galore school school's okay too I, I don't make friends but I like but I like my teachers and the building we have a first-rate lab, a project room, a massive library, and I never get beat up. I roar automatically when I fight, when I'm fighting, which isn't good for a new, for a new, isn't good news for bullies who don't want to attract attention. I'm, I'm not enjoying life. I'm lonely. I've always been a loner, but it's, but it does. It didn't bother me when I was younger. I like being by myself. I read lots of books and comics, watch dozens of TV shows, invented imaginary friends to play with. I was happy. That changed recently. I don't know why. But I don't like being alone now. I feel sad. 
when I see groups of friends ha having a good time. I want to be one of them. I want friends who tell me jokes and make me laugh at my and laugh at my. We can discuss TV shows, music with who will pick on me. To, who will pick me to be on their team? I I tried getting to know people, but the harder I tried, the more they avoided me. Sometimes, however, sometimes, no, I sometimes hover at the edge of a group, ignored, and pretend I'm part of it. But if I speak, it backfires. They glare at me suspiciously, move away, or tell me to get lost. Go watch some lights, Bree. The loneliness got really bad this this last month. Nothing interests me anymore. anymore. The hours drag, especially at home or whenever I have free time at school. I can't distract myself. My mind wanders. I keep thinking about friends and how I don't have any, that I'm alone and might be, and might always be. <sighs> That's 12 minutes and I'm on page 10, so I read, I read you like three pages. That's horrible. I wish I had something just so that I can talk into you and then you guys can go as faster. You know, like I stutter a lot when I read. I don't care. So, I'm at, and might always be. I'm gonna end right there, and I'll continue the rest of this book next episode and the episodes coming up so this is episode what one congratulations to me i'm reading a book that i already read like not too long ago too <laughs> i just want to reread it because it's so good next episode will be the next next part so peace out watch the next episode to find out what happens next if you don't like it, then skip to like maybe the fourth episode, and then you'll get to hear some of the bloody gore, maybe. But I'm I'm not doubting that the third or fourth episode, you'll hear something interesting, and it'll get you interested. Warning: Do not skip to that episode. I know I just said that you can skip to the third or fourth episode, but mm, you gotta listen to all of them. Even if you do skip to the third or fourth episode, I can't can't blame you. It's not that interesting right now, but it gets very interesting. Like what I said, I'm gonna read this book for a while so that you guys can get to know it. <sighs> I should say what I said before. Peace out. Farewell. Catch me in the next episode. Oh. Post it up as soon as I can, along with the other ones that I've been talking about. So I'll continue reading. Hope you enjoy.